one is going to be the Gallops BWO Nymph. Got a size 16 hook here in my vise. We're going to start our thread right about the halfway point. And I'm going to go ahead and move my thread a little bit forward to mark where we want the abdomen to end on this, this pattern. The it's called the Gallops BWO Blueing Olive because it's a, a, a fly tied by Kelly Gallup, who's got a shop in uh, Montana just below Quake Lake. And um, a great pattern for this, especially for the Western rivers. And he's got a shop there that I have the opportunity to go to from time to time because we've got a cabin up in that, that area. And um, watched him tie his flies and his videos, but also, you know, really appreciate him and the shop that he's got there because that's where I get all my fly tying stuff when I'm up at the cabin. Um, so we're gonna start out with a partridge feather. So I've got a, a partridge feather here. We're gonna use some of these longer fibers to make the tail on this fly. So I've got just a small little clump of these partridge fibers from the feather. I'm just going to transfer the measurement here, get those secured down here on our vise with a thread turn or two, and then I'm going to check them for length and see if they're where I want them to be. I want them to be a little bit longer, so that's why I only take one wrap, because now I can go ahead and pull a little bit and get them a little bit longer. That's where I like them, um, this right about there. So I'm just going to take wraps back to where the abdomen is going to start, kind of securing those fibers on the very top of the hook shank here. And from there, I'm going to start working my way back up forward. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut the excess of the fibers off right where I've kind of marked um, where I'm going to start that thorax and right where I'm going to um, kind of end the abdomen. We'll just go ahead and tidy those up just a little. So for the body, we're going to go ahead and use a, a turkey quill. This is a bluing olive color. It's a nice olive. And you can see I've taken some, some of the quills out of here already. I'm tying in the past. The quills are on this side. The biots are on this side. Um, if you're familiar with tying flies, um, the biots are much shorter. I'm going to take this from the quill side. Uh, because I've got a little bit of an area to travel with, with this material and uh, by it's not going to get me all the way home. So I've gone ahead and removed one of those, those biots or those quills from the <coughs> feather there and I'm, we're going to go ahead and secure that now onto the shank of my hook. Then I'll draw it back just a little ways. These are very brittle. Um, a lot of things we tie with are very brittle. So one thing that I try to be really careful of, especially with this, is that I'm not really cranking down hard on it, especially right back here at the very back of the abdomen. Because this is, uh, I'm actually using some nano silk in this case, because it happened to be handy. Um, but if I put enough pressure on it, it'll cut right through that buyout. Um, I won't get very far up the shank of the hook before it breaks itself off. Once I get that all the way secure, again, I'm just going to turn my vise a little bit and we'll just go ahead and get rid of the waist end here. So with that quill in place, I'm just going to grab uh, my hackle pliers and grab the very end of this quill. I'm going to hold it straight up. We're going to want to make sure we get that first wrap right around the back end here. Cover up that black thread before we start traveling up. Um, these are just wonderful and you, you'll see it as we're tying it to tie flies with it just creates the most um, beautiful wonderful segmented body and that's kind of what we're going for here so i don't want to be putting too much pressure on it because i don't want it to break off at the same time i don't want it so loose that i lose lose it so you got to play that that game and we'll go ahead and tie this fellow off since Lady Luck is held and 
so is our, our quill. I'm gonna go ahead and release that from my hackle plier. And I can go ahead and turn my vise and we'll get the excess of that cut off here. So next we're gonna tie in a wing case and I'm just gonna turn to a well used pheasant tail and that's gonna be our, our wing case here. I've gone ahead and stripped some fibers off of that. I'm gonna go ahead and clip the very ends off just to even that out a little bit. That's more me being OCD than anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce those, those fibers here to the top of my hook. And then I'll draw them backwards a little bit so I don't have to clip them off. I'm good with that. So at this point, I really want to just make sure I keep those those fibers on the very top of the shank of the hook because they're going to come over they're going to come over the top here and be our wing case. Um, you don't want to skimp here, so use use quite a few of those um, pheasant tail fibers. I've used quite a few here. So for me, this is where things start getting really messy. Um, but it's the secret secret ingredient, I guess, if there is one. Um, using ice dub UV pearl. And we're going to use this to just kind of accentuate the pattern, but also kind of mimic the gills a little bit. It kind of gives the pattern that little bit of extra. So when I secure these down, I'm going to just go over the top of it. Then I'm going to come back over and do a figure eight over the other side. And then I'll just take a couple more of those wraps just to kind of make sure I've got those locked into place where I want them. And they're going to look really messy here for uh, a minute, um, at least until we're pretty much done tying the pattern. So we'll turn to our, our final ingredient. We're going to just grab a couple of peacock curls. Um, I'm going to cut, cut the very tips of these off because that's where these things are the most fragile. And it'll still give me enough coverage. Um, we're going to use these to build us a nice beefy um, thorax, hopefully. I'll get those kind of tied in. I'm going to just take a few wraps like I usually do backwards, and then I'm just going to pull that material backwards. So that I don't necessarily need to cut them off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those two peacock curl. I kind of twist them a little bit together to just kind of help keep them from separating. We want to make sure we get a good um, beefy thorax here and one that is especially thick right back there where the abdomen ends and the thorax begins. And then we'll just take our wraps up forward towards the eye of the hook here. My thread is coming along for the ride so I need to back it off a couple of wraps. So once I've got those kind of in position right behind the, the eye, I'm going to go ahead and take a thread wrap or two over the top of them just to lock those guys in place. Take another couple of wraps in front as well. And from here I can go ahead and come on in with my scissors and we can clip off those peacock curl. So now we're just going to take those pheasant tail fibers that we tied in for our wing case and we're going to go ahead and bend those right over the top of that thorax that we just created. And I'm going to kind of push those down with my fingers. I want them these fibers to be separated just so that it you know, gives that wing case a little bit more body. And we'll just go ahead and secure that down. a couple of thread wraps. Take a look at the damage. Um, that's looking okay to me. Um, I've got it secured with a couple of thread wraps there. I'm going to go ahead and take a few thread wraps underneath, right behind the eye. Another one or two over the top and then we'll just go ahead and come on in with our, our scissors and we'll clip that off. So now I'll just go ahead and do a nice whip finish here. Finish off the head. I'm 
make sure that's good and secure. I'll turn my vise a little sideways so I can access the thread with my cutter. Disengage my thread. And we're done. We're not really done. Um, we still have the mess. So that's what we'll work on next. I'm gonna pull them fairly tight so that, you know, tight like that. And basically I'm going to come in and I'm gonna cut that off at an angle to about the length of the, the body here. On one side, and then I'm gonna collect the fibers here on this other side, the camera side. I'm sure I'm just covering all this up with my fingers. See if I can figure out a way to do that and not do that. Kind of like that. Those might be a little bit longer than I want, so I'll just come right in and trim those a little bit more. And with that, we're done. Um, we have a really, really nice um, bluing olive BWO nymph pattern. Um, great pattern to use um, on the, at least here out, out here in the west, on the western rivers. Um, credit to Kelly um, Gallup and uh, his team. Great fly, give it a shot. Mm -hmm.